What's up, my name is Cameron Mackertruck with BodyShipAndBlueprint.com and today I'm going to take you guys through a kettlebell offset reverse lunge. Okay, so sounds like a lot but it's pretty basic movement. All you need is a kettlebell or you can do this with a dumbbell also. Uh, whichever one you have handy is, is fine. Basically all you're going to do, you'll dip down, grab your kettlebell, okay, you'll get it up in that nice shoulder position here, okay, where it's in that little crevice. Or if you're holding a dumbbell, you can just hold the dumbbell out here like that, that's fine also. But with a kettlebell, you want it right in that little crevice, okay, so it's kind of resting on your bicep and your forearm in there, okay. You're going to hold it right there and just take a step back, drop into a nice reverse lunge and stand back up. Okay, so you're dropping back with the same arm that is holding the kettlebell, okay? So you step back, drop down into the lunge, and drive back up on that front foot. Okay, so you gotta keep your abs nice and tight, drop back, drop your hips straight down, and come back up. Uh, something I see a lot of people do with this one is they'll step back, but then they'll, they'll kinda keep going backwards like this, and that's gonna be pretty bad because you're putting way too much weight on your back foot. So just make sure when you step back, you just drop straight down, you want it all the way on that front foot, and then drive back up again, okay? So with those, of course, you need to do all the reps on one side, then you switch arms and do all the reps on the other side also, okay? So that's a kettlebell offset reverse lunge. My name is Cameron Mackertruck with BodyStreamBlueprint.com.